One of my very favorite foods is katsu curry. I find it so delicious. I love the crunch of the tofu these days. I used to eat chicken back when I didn't know better. As a healthy eater, it's hard to even make a vegan version that's healthy. There's usually lots of oil, coconut milk with the long chain triglycerides. Well, don't despair. We found a healthy way to do it. And today we're gonna to show you. For this recipe, you will need 200 grams of firm tofu, 60 grams of brown rice breadcrumbs, 35 grams of gram flour, one teaspoon of Japanese seven spice, 85 mils of soya milk, half a medium onion, one garlic clove, one teaspoon of ginger, two teaspoons of medium curry powder, quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of arrowroot, 40 grams of cashews, 180 mils of water, eight drops of coconut extract, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of maple syrup. Step one, we need to press the tofu. Tofu is such an amazing vegan ingredient, easy to digest, tons of them pro-aids. You can either use a tofu press like this one, or you can just wrap your tofu inside of some clean tea towels and just leave some heavy books on top. Set that aside for at least 10 minutes. In the meantime, we can make the batter. So you've got your gram flour, you've got your seven spice, shichi mi, seven flavors. Some Japanese for you. Didn't know I could speak Japanese, did ya? Huh? Teaspoon of this stuff, so delicious. Add your soya milk. Give it a little whisk. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. Then we want to chop half of the block into five millimeter slices. Pop some parchment paper onto a baking tray, and then we're GTG. So you get your tofu, pop it in the batter, make sure it's really well coated on all the sides. Into your breadcrumbs. It's handy to have a little water bowl just to declag your hands. Bake for 45 minutes, flipping halfway. Now we'll do a bit of chopping. I think it's the ginger that really makes it so we're using quite a lot of ginger in here really ideally you chop your garlic about 10 minutes before you want to use it so you made sure and got all the uh, allicin um, produced but i just forgot so we're just going to steam fry this until the onions become translucent about a minute before the veggies are finished cooking, add two teaspoons of curry powder and about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric just for color. And cook for a further one minute. To your blender, add 180 mils of water, 40 grams of old fashioned cashews, not the newfangled ones, half a tablespoon of arrowroot, tablespoon of soy sauce, teaspoon of maple syrup, oh, a bit too much, no. Don't tell the children. <laughs> so this, along with the cashews, will replace coconut milk, but without giving you heart disease. Lastly, we'll add in the onions and spices. And blend and pull smooth. Back in the pan, and you want to cook this for about 10 minutes or so, just basically till it's the kind of consistency that you prefer. The problem is, this seems like too much of a work of art. Oh, that's a crispy AF. This is too much of a work of art. Like, I don't want to, um, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. That time, that tastes just like the real thing. Yeah. Mm. 
You don't have to miss out being vegan, being healthy. You can find a way, and this is one of the ways. This is the best recipe we've ever come up with, Gem. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. You need to try this. This is my new favorite. Guys, if you want to optimize your health, body shape, or sports performance without unnecessarily harming animals, go to Hench Herbivore. <laughs> Hench Herbivore. <laughs> I've still got a bit of old toot in my mouth. I'm struggling to speak. <laughs> Go to henchherbivore.com where we offer online coaching, nutrition plans, workout plans, consultations. You can even book me for your next bar mitzvah. See you in the next video.